a couple days ago i posted in the official subreddit for operation phoenix with the title of share how you're feeling i want to go over your responses it looks like we have 10 in the comments we're going to be talking about that in this video as well as the latest and let's go ahead and get straight into it so starting with the official twitter account there are 2042 followers for token holder account they're at 1442 currently the price is a little bit below two cents we actually closed out with a green candle yesterday there's a little bit more pullback that's happening here Take a look at the buy and sell volume. This is on PancakeSwap. There's $12,000 on the buy side versus $10,000 on the sell side. So there was actually $2,000 more on buy than sell. It's down 2.36%, but it's really important to note when we take a look at the general crypto market, because this is paired with BNB, it's, BNB is down 5.4% just in the last 24 hours alone. It's down over 10.5% in the last week. So in the last hour, we're starting to see a little bit of green activity going on with some of the blue chip cryptocurrencies. But overall, it's still been quite, quite a hard day, quite a hard week for BNB. And don't forget that that does have an impact on the price over here. OK, so keep that in mind. Marketing is looking to get started to ramp up a ton, I should say, for Operation Phoenix because they're getting ready in a couple weeks to bridge over to the Ethereum side. And if you haven't heard about that yet, just to keep it really brief, basically on the Ethereum side, it's gonna be moving some of the tokens from Binance Smart Chain over to the Ethereum side, so trading can happen. Arbitrage is to be expected. And this will give an opportunity where there's a lot more trading volume, way, way more trading volume over on the Ethereum side than on BNB. So let's go and take a look. Ethereum at number two, last 24 hours had 20, billion dollars in trading volume 20 billion bnb not even 2 billion so more than 10 times the amount of trading volume occurs on the ethereum side as opposed to bnb and again this will be bridging so you can actually move it from ethereum to bnb or vice versa so that should be really exciting a lot of people looking forward to trying to jump in on that it's a couple weeks away marketing is looking to ramp up on that now let's go ahead and move over here to my post hey guys crypto atlas here please share your honest thoughts on where things are at with operation phoenix i plan on covering this thread in a future video hmm that is now number one are you happy disappointed frustrated mad excited number two what have you loved that their team has produced and done so far Number three, is there anything you want to see them do better? And number four, is there anything that you're looking forward to and that gives you hope? God bless and hope you're all having a great day. Sincerely, Crypto Atlas. Okay, first up, we have Win Professional 4724. I'm happy with the progress so far. I think it was probably a poor decision to mention the bridge to Ethereum as soon before it actually happens. And I think a bit more work needs to be done on Infinity Swap UI. Also will be great once things like charts and rankings are added. In general, they're hitting their targets with the roadmap, which is great to see. General market conditions right now are probably putting people on edge, which is not ideal, but people seem to forget what is being built here. A lot of great stuff and a genuinely unique blockchain, which will inherit all the game-changing characteristics of their decks. People were asking for these levels. Those same people disappear when these levels are hit. 5x down from all-time high is fine, especially since we are 20x up from launch price. Remember, we're still up from when this launched. Zoom out and let logic guide your decisions, not emotions. Emotions are the death of reason. Next up, no mail 5430. What the team did so far is just awesome. So many utilities already launched. The Ethereum launch seems bullish to me. Plus the bridge is the multi-chain door. Thank you for all the videos. Well, thank you as well. I appreciate that. Illustrious says, great job, Atlas. Very pleased with what the team has uh, provided so far. I'm looking forward to the exposure a launch on Uniswap will provide us with. Disappointed people are selling at a lower market cap. Illustrious says, I'm feeling fine. 
The team continues to deliver utilities and price movement doesn't determine my conviction. I think that most investors aren't patient enough to hold while a project builds out and then once levels get to where they want to buy, they scare themselves away and later buy the green candles. An adorable honey. Personally, I'm happy with the project so far. The low price at the moment is explainable, so that doesn't concern me. What would concern me is that these prices are here and I have no money to buy more, so just a personal problem. I'm looking forward to the decks being fully go with a few projects and Phoenix Swap to be disbanded and everyone only using Infinity Swap. As far as them doing anything better, I don't really know what it could be. They've already delivered more things than any project that I have been a part of and not just talk, but actually deliver. I appreciate that from them. True coin or token isn't a get rich quick play. It's always over time, just like a Bitcoin. Not saying we are Bitcoin, but it's a decade and most people think it hasn't really started. So timeline do better nonsense. I don't really believe it's, uh, I don't really believe in unless you're just lying and never delivering in an obvious money grab, which I don't think is, can't wait to buy more, to be honest. By the way, not sure what that is my name on here. LOL. Oh, okay. <laughs> More birthday. I love how hard this team is working and constantly delivering on their promises. The only thing that frustrates me is how I have personally traded the token. Any project that does 100x is going to have a huge pullback. There's a lot of profit out there to be taken. I just personally wish I would have taken some myself to be in a position to stack more at these prices. I've been here since day one, so I'm still in profit right now, but could be doing much better. One thing I think could be done better is just the PR end of things. Although the team is always available and active with the community, I think some of the messaging could be delivered in a slightly more professional manner. We need to be able to set ourselves apart from all the other projects out there that are trying to produce similar utilities. Everyone has a launch pad. Everyone's building NFT marketplaces. Everyone has staking. Everyone builds a DEX. Now we know that we have cutting edge technology that will set ours apart, but Getting that information out to the masses that are not currently involved in the project is the key. Our website looks good, but doesn't wow anyone. Our white paper is very elementary. That could use a rebuild and include more in-depth information on the cutting edge tech that is being built. Everything just needs to be refined a little more to really make us look like a serious project. What gives me hope is we are still sitting at over a 20x from launch price while the market is taking a break. If we just tighten things up a little and recruit the next wave of a thousand new holders to get the energy back in the community, not that it's bad. I really think there are big things ahead for the project, but we have to be more than just a safe moon that delivers some utility. We have to set ourselves apart from the rest of the crypto world that is building similar utility. Uh, I missed upvoting some of these. Excited for the next couple months. That comes from Caddis. Okay, Bell says, one... I'm a little frustrated with the non-upper movement of the chart. They're doing everything right. It should be moving up, but I think it has something to do with arbitrage. Too many people and bots that are uh, day trading it trying to make a buck. Number two, love the team. Love everything they have done. I think it's top notch, especially love the staking that I'm in with the juicy rewards. Number three, I'm not sure. I think it just might be out of their control. It's just the atmosphere in crypto at the moment. Number four, I'm looking forward to when the mood in crypto changes and the buyers outnumbers the sellers. Up until now, we don't have that. Too many other things out there for crypto investors to play with. Once they find Operation Phoenix and understand it, we should have a good upswing. I'm also looking forward to the launch on Ethereum. I think that's a good idea and could bring the extra buyers in that we need to get things rolling. And then the last one here. Humble Dragon Fruit says, Thanks, Atlas, for your constant community engagement. You're a true asset to Operation Phoenix and crypto in general. Thank you, Humble. I appreciate that. Number one, I'm personally very happy. It's frustrating watching the short-sighted investors selling because the token didn't make them millionaires in two months. Selling for some profit is totally cool, but dumping your whole bag, tens of thousands of tokens at a time throughout the day, multiple times a day is just selfish and irresponsible. Number two, I've loved almost everything actually. They came up short on the marketing, but that was because they were at the mercy of promoters, Kohl's, influencers who are or were only on the Solana train is very very narrow-minded from a business perspective is 99 percent of solana is garbage other than marketing prior to this ethereum launch they have proved that they are men of their words and keep producing useful and sustainable utility
Number three, I'm a long-term investor. I don't need my hand held with updates and news every day. I know they are working their butts off every day in the background trying to grow this juggernaut of a project. I've not drank the Kool-Aid. I just know the team and how dedicated they are to the success of Operation Phoenix. And number four, the Ethereum launch just might be the spark needed to ignite the gas fumes that have been lingering, but haven't sparked. They need to get a few more successful launches exclusively on Infinity Swap and try to get away from Pancake. If they can accomplish this alongside the NFT marketplace and the blockchain, hot damn, that'll be some solid ecosystem integration. A one-stop shop for almost everything. Almost. Cheers, Joshua. Guys, I really appreciate the feedback. These are some really good detailed responses. Just even responding at all. I really appreciate it, guys. And I believe I upvoted everyone. So thank you so much for showing your support with that. If you're not part of the Operation Phoenix subreddit, I do have the link to that down in the description below. And so again, guys, the price seen a bit of a pullback here. BNB itself just barely in the green. Okay. It's down 5.27%. And there's your latest updates on that. You can check out my referral link for Marjex down in the description below. If you use that referral link, you can claim up to $10,000 in bonuses. They got leverage trading from 5X up to 100X. There's no KYC. You can get started in about one minute of making an account. It's available in a lot of regions. Some people need to use VPNs. If you want to do that, that's obviously up to you. You can buy crypto over here. You can also do copy trading and they have staking options. There's a whole bunch of stuff offered. And then there's HG Access. This is an exclusive trading group with about 2,200 members. A lot of people seeing value in this. If you want to read more up on that and you want to join it, you can find the link to that Patreon in the description below. Thank you so much, my personal Patreon supporters. Double shout out, thank you to Victor Vegas and Rosa Rizvi for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.